I think Jones have a couple of things. Bro, there. you know what, though? I went out to this, you know, fast food Italian joint, right? Sure. Okay. For Zoli's? Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 you know, we we're, were had to go somewhere quick. Had to get something to eat because we were going to to... Was it actually for Zoli's? Yeah, we were about to oh, be drunk. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were going to go <clears throat> drinking, right? Yeah. And, you know, I, you know, my girl wanted to go there. She got her order. I ordered my shit. I guess they call it the Meatball Da Vinci. So mm. as a grown man, I sucked it up and I said, let me get the Meatball Da Vinci. She asked me what like three times. And then eventually she was like, oh, you mean the Meatball Sub? Like, hella rude. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, it says Meatball Da Vinci. Huh. If it's a Meatball Sub, why don't you put that on the title? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, false advertising. That, that's annoying. I get I it. Know. So what happened? Did you get them get your Meatball Sub? Yeah, I got my meatball sub. It was, was kind of, it, it was delicious. Nice. Nothing to complain about that. I, mean, I can't beat a meatball sub. I mean, you can. It's not a meatball sub, but like, like the how do, how do you lowest beat tier of subs. What's the highest tier? Oh, like your typical. The like, highest tier of sub is a subscriber to our oh. podcast. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's get some applause. Can you put the applause on that? Yeah. <laughs> Please, some applause. Yeah, this one? I don't know. Put something. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I like that. I like that. All right. But, um, no, I was going to say a turkey sub. A, t- a turkey, turkey sub? Yeah, the regular, like, turkey. A turkey, which is like a turkey like and, a like, turkey mustard? turkey provolone sandwich, yeah. Turkey? Are you six years old? I mean, is that what six-year-olds eat? Do you have a <laughs> insulin problem? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you not eat a meatball sub? You I can't. It's just sloppy. It's a little too sloppy Is your me. cholesterol high? You can't eat the turkey? No, nah, it's not, but it's just a little too sloppy. Like At least go with the black forest. Yeah, yeah, that's good too. Sure. Or I, like, you know what's good? Honey ham. Honey ham? Yeah. Are you okay right now? <laughs> you don't mess with that, bro. Uh, bro. First of all, what, what's honey doing anything near to ham? I don't know. Just like, I don't know. That it's, little sauce, a little sun sun. Just at least go with an Italian BMT. Bro, uh, even a BLT. BLT, you mean? Yeah, no, no it's a BMT. BMT. BMT? Bro. That's what it's Are called. Are you not cultured in subs? No, nah, not really. It has like a <laughs> turkey problem. I'll be honest with you. But come on. Where do you go for your subs? Bro, to be honest, I try not to go anywhere for my subs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay. a big... I'm a big sandwich guy, but, but you went to Fazoli's I'm not a, good, a big sandwich That's why I can talk to you, because you went to Fazoli's for a sub. Uh, you went to an Italian place to get a sub sandwich. What is Bro, wrong I'm with not, you? You know, first of all, I'm trying to watch my figure. <laughs> that's like the worst thing you do go, is go to a place where they sell carbs bro we were on a time crunch yeah but no 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 for my subs you could have got salad you know, but, you know you know the gateway drugs of subs is subway oh yeah that's a gateway that's where, that's where sure. everyone starts out in the US right that's unless, a gateway unless if you're like in like New York or whatever you know maybe Philly you start out with subway in every other part of the world oh yeah alright then maybe you know Someone one day says, like, hey, have you tried Jimmy John's, you know? Oof, so you, I don't like Jimmy so you, John's. You already, really? dipped, you already dipped your toes in Subway. Do you like Subway. Jimmy John's, Mondo? Yeah. Over <clears> sub? <throat> Subway? Over Subway, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. I do. You know, so you already dipped your toes into Subway. So, you know, you know what? It can't hurt if I try Jimmy John's. Next thing you know, you're spending exorbitant amounts at, you know, Firehouse Subs. Oof. You know, forgot about Firehouse. Jersey Mike's. Mm. Ooh, that's my spot. You Jersey know, Mike's. Uh, McAllister's. Uh, that's more of a deli place. You know, but I actually haven't gone to any of those places. Yeah. You've never been. Uh, no, so you don't know anything about I subs. I go to su- a Subway and well, I hate get- Subway and I only go and I get Jimmy John's <laughs> mostly because the convenience because uh, they just market it to me freaky fast even though it's always late. So you're trying to talk about me about my um, yeah. my sub knowledge, but you don't even get good subs, bro. All I'm saying is, <laughs> if you're getting. Turkey. No, uh, see that's your problem. You never, you well had, you've never had a turkey problem. Number no. seven, uh, Jersey Mike's. You might as well just burn your money. No, you just never had it. I understand. You're you're you're, you're uncultured when it comes to that. First of all, if I didn't uneducated, Mike, I should if say. If I didn't name Mike is serving me subs, he probably has dirt underneath his fingernails. No, he's a good guy. Mike's a good guy. I met him. No, clean. clean probably cut. wears one of those those like hair nuts, but on your beard. No, no beard. Clean shave. Wispy, wispy nope. mustache. Nope, nope. Good guy. Clean shave. Good husband, good father. Well, have you met Jimmy and John? Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to. No. <laughs> I'm saying though, is that Subway? Subway though? It's disgusting. Oh, yeah. No, so wait, you the, said that's where you go. You just no, go no, no, Subway. No. I, said, I, said, I said that's the gateway. That's the gateway uh, drug. But you literally just ask where you, you go know, usually. That's where they get you. You know, they're like the first one's free and then you get hooked. All right. You know, you're out there, you're out there, start off with the six inch. Yeah, there's like a little fly in here. <laughs> no, he's just a little. 
I'm crazy. Little, I got Tourette's. I'm sorry. Hey, bro, don't you ever disrespect people. First of all, you're not all right. Saying you, your favorite sandwich is a what was it? A fucking turkey. turkey? That's yeah, this is this yeah. the turkey talk. That's, I get already, that's already disrespectful. I, I get sure. it. You don't like you don't like my sub uh, choices, but all right. So I think you know we should probably address someone not being here. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, if the audio listeners, you can hear. There's a voice missing. Um, YouTube viewers, I guess you guys can obviously see Diego's not here. Got a little too crazy, I guess. Yeah, he made a fine. Um, yeah. Ebony Queen, a mature Ebony Queen. Last night, yes. and, you know, he's been in love ever <laughs> since. <laughs> Hoping he'll return next time. What is it called? They went a loaf? Elope? Oh, elope. <laughs> no. That's what it was. A loaf? The- <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, we'll try to Photoshop him in. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. But yeah, he's so. good now. If you guys wonder, he is good. Yeah. And he did fall in love, but yeah. he'll, come, he'll be back next week. I also had, he also had way too many... You know, Henny's brewskis, yeah, yeah. everything. Hen- to Hennessy, Hennessy to dude, yeah, he came back with like some whiskey. So one time he was <laughs> like, "Dude, they have Jack Dan or not Jack Daniels? They have Johnny Walker Black Label." I'm like, "What the hell? Why'd you even get whiskey?" Damn, <laughs> him as an animal. He was throwing it back because his job. Yeah, you were with him last night. Were you concerned for his health at any moment? Concerned for his health? No. Yeah. Oh, he's a big boy, huh? <laughs> yeah, he was like, you know, people were getting his drinks and. You know, I was trying to be responsible, drive home, so I don't really drink much anyway. And I was giving them to him. He'd just slam them, and uh, <laughs> I knew. <laughs> yeah. You knew. My, I knew he was going to have a hard time today. Yeah. My cousin FaceTimed me, or I FaceTimed him last night. Yeah. And he was with Diego and Armando. And Diego looked at me through the FaceTime camera and said, where the fuck are you? And <laughs> I said, Diego, why are you talking to me like that? And um, I just went to bed. <laughs> I was like, that man's mean. And uh, yeah, that's why I knew yeah. he had a problem. You went to bed crying, huh? Yeah, I, I almost <laughs> couldn't go to bed. I, I was thinking about that too much. Yeah. I should message him like, "Why are you mad at me, buddy?" You should have been there, man. He missed you. I don't know. The way he was talking <laughs> to me didn't sound like it. He was being real aggressive. No, no, that was weird. He was. By the time we went to the last bar, he was just he was out of it. Was he? I could tell, yeah. dude. He was. He was trying to hit on like this one girl, and he's talking to her. The girl's trying to ignore him, t- pretending to be on the phone. I'm like, wow. Oh, <laughs> the girl's pretending to be on the phone. Yeah, you know, oh. just giving him the shoulder and stuff. Yeah. He's still going like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. He's yeah, a good great guy. guy. He means good. But he, he spends all the time charity work, you know. Yeah. Feeding the homeless and stuff like that. Great guy. <laughs> He does. I'm actually. Oh. I'm, about, I'm about to do some charity work here next month too. Like, nice. like what? For um, I, they have this thing over at the downtown Davenport. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the, it's the Festival of Trees. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Um, this year they said that they're gonna promote me to like a supervisor kind of role. Uh-huh. Nice. Um, so then I get my own walkie-talkie and I get to tell people what to do. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> that's fire. Yeah. So, so we'll that. were you guys just gonna be like helping out, like the whole, like the? Yeah, well, when I used to do it, I used to be a floater, so I would go wherever they need me if they mm. needed me to set up some stuff, um, like some tables or yeah. set up like where the kids play the games and stuff, get everything prepped. Um, yeah. That's what I used to do, and then I would do like ticket sales too. Dang um, nice. So yeah, whenever they would come to the front door, if you have your ticket, punch it. If not, then sell a ticket or whatever. Yeah, I but did that one time when I used to work for a restaurant. We did like a catering thing down there. We had like a little stand, and uh, yeah, I never do it again. <laughs> Yeah, I was out doing, not charity work, but I was out, you know, helping out the kids, volunteering, yep. trunk or treat, you know, a little safe way to trick or treat Yeah. before Halloween. Yeah, you got to be careful. There's a lot of dangerous people out there. There is. Especially during this time. Man. There is. So if you don't get a treat, they trunk you and they take you away? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, what happens is <laughs> in your car trunk, you set up like a Halloween thing. Sure. So my girl did it right. Um, <laughs> she was a little mermaid. I was a... Uh, the Little Mermaid side piece, whatever his name is. Oh, and the I, crab. No, no, no. My dog was the crab, and the other dog was Flounder. Wait, who are you then? <laughs> he was I actually never seen Mermaid. Team. Yeah, neither have I. Yeah, so the guy. I oh, Prince, you're, Prince you're, Eric. you're the you're the, the evil lady. No, actually, I wanted to be. Ursula. You're Ursula. Actually, I wanted to be Ursula. That would have been so cool. You would have put it off so good. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much work, man. You know. <clears throat> so, anyway. I, I was just the prince, and then, you know... Car trunk was decorated like the sea, under the sea. You know? Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. It was good. Gave away a lot of candy, more over like twenty pounds of candy. Cause, Damn, that's cause a lot. They label it by pounds now. Like you buy it by pounds. Yeah. I'll say like four and a half pounds. Candy's expensive too. Yeah, it's not good for you. Yeah. 
No, it's awful for you. Hopefully those kids flossed. <laughs> for you know, because if they didn't, they're going to have some cavities. And then that's a fill-in, and that fill-in's a real canal. Mm-hmm. Now their whole jaw's missing. Yeah. And, you know. Should we uh, move on to current events? No, you, you're talking about dangerous people, and I know yeah. you want to bring someone up that's very dangerous. Man, dangerous. You know? Dangerous, man. Well, I guess he's no longer dangerous. Oh, no. Dang. Oh, Bars. okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. But um, We're talking about Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's what we're going to. No, 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 sure. Let's talk about Alex and Zuri brought up. No, no for real. Yeah. Without yeah. making it too funny, you know, rest <clears> in <throat> peace. Um, the producer who was. <laughs> 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 you you know, just said you know? rest in peace, and you don't even know the name. <laughs> Bro, I don't. I'm so paying my respects. Uh, wait, so what's the name then? I don't know because I don't. Uh, do you guys want to talk about it? Then, yeah, I do want to talk I about just know the crazy. situation. Yeah, I didn't even know what's going on. Well, apparently, you didn't know what happened? I don't know what happened. I oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty, so I actually don't know what specifics were going on. I'm not sure if you I'll know more about it. Yeah. Right so I'll pretty much what had happened is they're shooting a movie. Um, the cinematographer, the pretty much like one of the people who holds up the cameras. Yeah. Um, what had happened is one of the uh, production assistants ended up giving him a prop gun. Um, but what had turned out was the prop gun was actually loaded with some real ammunition. Oh. And then when Alec went to go shoot that scene... Huh, Shoot. <laughs> no, but <laughs> he actually <laughs> shot. Why is this he, funny? Ended up, he ended up shooting oh, her, no. killing awful. her, and then kind of damn. What is it? Uh, injured. Somebody's uh, injured. Yes, injured the a, director. Right? Another person. I don't know. If it, uh, I think it was an actor. Oh, uh, so it's Helena Hutchins, right? This one. Yeah, I don't know. She, she was. I guess murdered, right? Yeah. You know, so for real, pay respects to she was husband, murdered. kids, family. Tragic story. But this is not the first time this has happened. No. And the, the crazy part about the prop gun is that I guess whatever um, union these prop people work for were already under, like, um, scrutiny because they've been trying to actually get better working conditions. Mm-hmm. So they're working long hours, little sleep, and they're traveling a pretty far distance to get to the recording location. So that cuts even more on their sleep. And even... That day, there was some more stuff. They're like, hey, the working conditions still aren't safe, whether it's, you know, time management, like for sleeping and stuff, or it's the equipment or um, there's like prop masters who like are responsible for setting everything up and yeah. making sure it's all good. Um, and yeah, then this happens and it's just like a crazy turn of events. And what's even crazier is, I guess the movie is like a Western and it's based on someone who was accused of murder. Huh. Yeah. I hate when weird shit like that happens. Kind of like um, uh, in the movie The Crow. Yeah. Right? That was the first one where the actor, the main actor, actually ended up dying. Oh, yeah. the helicopter crash? No, no, no. no, no, that, no. Was, that was different. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, this one was... Um, you never seen The Crow? Yeah, I seen The Crow. That's the one with uh, the guy. He's like... It's like, it's like a dark movie, right? He's always wearing like leather. And yeah, like anti-hero kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I think. yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no. Yeah, they, they ended up shooting him because the, they didn't have like blanks. Or they did have a blank, but the blank somehow shot out. And it actually ended up killing him or something. But yeah. yeah. It's weird. So it's what? Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee. You know, he, he got killed. In, but there's so much speculation with all like the Lee family where... They think Bruce was killed by the mafia. They think his son was also killed by the mafia. And it's just like John F. Kennedy type deal. Yeah, but that's even cr- John F. Kennedy might have even more like um, validity because there is some stuff that goes back where you know his family was heavily involved with the mafia. Um, and they think that you know maybe the reason why he became president was because they thought he was gonna like you know scratch their backs after they scratched his, which didn't happen. But who knows, man? We it's really hard to answer these questions. Yeah. They will probably never be answered. Probably not. You know, which is why it's really hard for these people to make like peace in their lives because they don't know. So what I'm curious about is like Alec Baldwin, do you guys think he's going to go to jail or like press, jail and press charge against him? Or he's gonna no. Like, I don't, no. I don't think so. No, it's, it's by accident. It's not. I don't know, but ma- manslaughter is a, is a degree of murder that's an accidental no. murder. I You're think not he, meant to kill somebody, but he did it. But then it no. wouldn't just be him. It would be the prop handlers too. It would be, it'd be so much people. My question is, how do you fire more than one bullet? How did the first bullet shouldn't you realize that? Oh shit, this is a real gun. No acting. I don't, I don't. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know how the props are really. But yeah. I would imagine it has the feel of a real gun. But you know, it's not. You yeah. know, yeah. in your mind, you're yeah. like, oh no, it's just a blank. So I don't. I don't have to worry. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah. and he's probably dealing with so many guns or props, and he's probably like, yeah, yeah. this ain't nothing. And, he didn't think about it. And the thing about it too is when they're like acting, they're really trying to sell it right because you don't want it to seem like, you know, like a bad acting. They're they're supposed to be really good actors. You're just into the the moment, you know. Um, but no, it's just a horrible turn of events. I guess what they're saying though, I guess this is all alleged, right? We don't really know what the hell happened. But they would say that one of the producers, one of the prop masters or whatever, would fire actual rounds in between takes. Hmm. Which, if so, that's fucking stupid as shit. Nah, I mean, I don't know. Because you should always shoot the gun, right? Like, it's loaded and stuff like that, whatever. Sure, but like I said, once again, you know you, you know it's a prop. You know it's not real. No, and but then, they, they said they were firing, like, live rounds in oh, between, shit, never mind, in between never. sets. Well, that's just dumb, but... Yeah, it's stupid. I like saying, like, hmm. you know... <laughs> it makes no sense to me. I guess. Zero yeah. sense. I just want to know what's going to happen to him. He, like, if he doesn't go to jail, or say, you know. If he does or doesn't. If he doesn't. Say he doesn't because um obviously it was an accident and maybe there's like a, a waiver with all that type of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. probably yeah. what yeah. it is too. Yeah. Non disclosures and then Do you guys think his career would be over? or No. No. He's no? like, he's like 70 so. years old. Um, he's almost over anyway, right? I, I feel like. He made so much money probably. I feel like in two weeks this story's going to be over. And then we won't find out like a while, like you know, until like six months later when they decide what to do. Mm. Yeah, that sucked though for the lady and the, the other guy that got injured. Yeah, it's yeah. just a horrible turn of events. Like, especially since they've been saying how you know how they need to work on safety, and then this happens. Did they talk about that? No, 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 for <laughs> real. That was no. my fault. You guys want to check it out? Look at um, you know, news dump on YouTube. They're pretty good. They do a lot of good stuff. Talk about it. Speaking of murderers, murderers, murderers. they found that uh, that laundry guy, Brian Landry. Is that what it is? Laundry uh, or some shit? I don't know. Yeah, Brian La- Landry, who um, allegedly killed his girlfriend and didn't report it till like ten days after he came back home, and then he went missing. They found his body. But the weird thing about it is, they say he either he must have been dead for a while before they found him, or. Um, animals were eating his body. By the time they found him, it was all uh, just uh, skeletons. Like, oh, just skeleton. I'm sorry. Yeah, There's like no di- flesh, no skin, no muscle, no nothing. Yeah, they like identified skeleton. him with dental records, which yeah. is a little iffy, uh-huh. too. Yeah. Sometimes his body was probably, you know, super dismantled. Yeah. But yeah, he ends up leaving. He goes to like a swamp area, and they think he was eaten by animals like alligators or crocodiles, whichever yeah. resided there. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, imagine um, if a fucking crack killed him when he was alive and just fucked him up. Nah, I think you'd die pretty quick, though. That's what I'm saying. At least you'd hope. That's how he died, not that he killed his girl. That, honestly, that, that's just great. Like, that's how. That was karma. It probably is karma, but it's so weird that you can have these kind of people in your life that you think, you know, they'll be, like, supposed to be loving and caring, and then next thing you know, they, like, you know, murder you. That's just insane. Yeah. And it's very terrifying. And, you know, it's just, I don't, like... How do you teach someone to not do those things or to be better, you know? I don't know, because like, what if uh, you did teach them, like, if you, as a parent, like, is it, like, the way you raise your kid, or are you thinking just something that's a mental problem that they're just predisposed it, to, it, you know what I'm saying? It has to be a mix, but, you know what I mean? There's people who, like, are in bad situations who choose not to leave because, you know, X factor, whatever it is, and the people who do that are definitely the ones at fault, but why do they do it? I don't think it's there's ever a reason to... Um, to justify their actions, you know what I mean? I think they're sick, like mentally. I think yeah. they're sick. But does that mean they can be healed, or do you just have to, like, what do you do with them? Do you lock them up and throw away the key before they do anything? Do you? I don't know. What do you think, Mondo? You know? Honestly, I mean, like, I see the reason why they would do that. Literally, they love someone so much that they'd literally kill them. They'd, like, kill somebody, you know, for them. Just if they can't have them, then no one will. They love you that uh, much, so. Yeah. I, I kind of see the process in that, but it's not right. They no. definitely no. need some help. I don't know, but. Yeah. yeah. No, I get what you, I get what I you mean. Do you, do you, That's do just you, like, like. Do you think it's like something that they just already have in their mind that, or do you think that was no, developed like, like, like a like grew? It's a predisposition it's, it's just, or something. something. It's something that you, you just develop, and sometimes it can be underdeveloped if you haven't really, yeah. I guess, experienced yeah. it or I don't know. And I guess they got to be able to learn how to process extreme emotions, yeah. right? Yeah. Like you definitely. can't, like you got to understand, like some days you're going to be sad. Some days you're going to be happy. You're not always going to be happy, you know. And then some people feel those emotions even more extreme. And some people feel those even more extreme than that. Yeah. So it's like you really have to learn how to regulate your moods because it's something that's going to happen, you know, throughout your whole life. 
So you can't like give in to yeah. um what's the word I'm looking for? To like a quick just, you know, irrational decision. Yeah, being impulsive. Yeah, but, it can't um, be impulsive. But I don't know cuz uh I mean no, I I agree with what you're saying, yeah. but it's also kind of crazy like the parents were um kind of cuz the parents apparently the parents led them led them to where he was. No, yeah, they they like hmm. said that like they weren't like I guess they were, were kind of covering up. Yeah. But they weren't because they told him, like, he said he went right here. This is where he's at. Yeah. They said they found, like, but, a little journal he had, too. But they haven't, like, this, um, discussed anything that was in the journal. But they were, like, covering it up for him at first. Yeah, yeah, because they are like, oh, we don't know anything. Yeah. But who knows? Because I think if they were, which I think they were a bit, they should definitely be in trouble, too. I don't know. I think it's hard for a parent, like, because... Say, like, you're a parent, and your kid yeah. comes up to you, and say he's playing the victim. Say he didn't do it, but it's going to look like he did it. He say, I didn't do it. I don't know what happened to her. I'm a victim of the situation. You're going to believe your kid, because not only is it your kid, and like, you guys share the same blood, but you also raised him. And you don't want to believe you raised a murderer either. Yeah, but I feel like people, too, they kind of have, like, they can feel a vibe. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. Mm, I, I don't like know. They can feel a vibe. Like, you, you, you probably met people mm. who are like, this dude's off. Like, something's off. Oh, like, yeah. Like, yeah. I can't, like, you know. Yeah. I can't be around him. Or you met people the opposite. You're like, oh, dang, I want to be around this person. But there's probably some people who those vibes are switched, right? Where they might seem like this. But, you know, I think it's like every, like, big murderer had that vibe where they're like, he was just like a normal friend and, like, you know. Yeah, they're manipulative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. They're like, you know, it's just crazy. Like, these these are answers that we'll never understand, you know, or these questions will never be answered, I should yeah. say. You know? One of us in here, maybe is no. <laughs> one of us in here. Yeah. I'm not gonna say who. Not the one with the mask. Right? Yeah. God, dude, don't uh, ever put me. No. <laughs> it might be the guy who's not here. You never know. Is it that yeah, OJ? Like when OJ allegedly murdered his wife, right? Right. And um, later on, he writes a book describing <laughs> what he would, yeah, have. what he would have done, yeah. or yeah. if he had done yeah. it. And then during that interview, like there's like, where's OJ? And he comes through the door. Corn like, eh, have you ever seen that video? <laughs> <No>. mm. <laughs> that video? That's funny though. Yeah, if you want to pull it up, yeah. And the lady's just like, the interviewer's just like, what the fuck? Oh, you just pretend? <laughs> Did you just pretend to kill somebody yeah. at, while you're in trial for murder? Let's yeah, see. that's funny. I'm um, a. Uh, I don't know, bro. I think I don't know. I think people can murder though off impulse too, no, not because they're like so, mentally sick, but maybe they're just so the the murders that I understand more. Where I think it maybe should be different. It's like let's say you get into like a fist fight. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. That's manslaughter. I mean, so. that's manslaughter, but it's still crazy, right? Because th- th- there's different ones. There's like the ones where like they keep beating them till they die. Then there's the ones where it's like they box them or yeah. something, and Wait, they fall on. on the and they hit their head. Wait, hold on, let's watch this. Wait, was that it or what? Was Did it? I not show it? Oh, no, it's no, coming up. It's like, coming up. Was it this part? Yeah, it's that part. So he's getting interviewed? I think so. Yeah, so. Hold up. Let Unless me. this is a joke, but I don't know. Because it seems kind of like it's a parody, but I don't think it was a parody. All right, let me record the screen real quick. Yeah. Then. It was, it was, it was insane. i never this, though. Yeah. But no, OG, man, that's just like. Oh, no. That it's also has a lot of conspiracy in it because. They don't think that he actually did it. There's people that think it was his son yeah, yeah. who murdered his okay. wife. Is that crazy? Ex-wife. Yeah, they say they think it was his son. I've actually heard that theory. Can you hear anything? Well, I took off the audio. Oh, since it's like the, yeah. Yeah, but... So, so pretty much the video is pretty much just him, yeah. What, I don't stabbing know. the... It, yeah, it looks like it's a prank. It looks like it, it is. It looks prank. fake, right? Yeah, I mean, he does a stupid face afterwards. But yeah. isn't that... Like, even that if face it, is weird, hey, though. Hey, <laughs> hey, even if it's a, um, like, a parody... He's the guy who's accused of doing it. <laughs> it's, still, it's still crazy. It's like if they did like a Michael Jackson <laughs> parody, you know? I, and yeah. it was him doing it. Like it's still really, really weird. Yeah. I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like funny. it's a, you know you're it's ironic. Guess, it's not ironic. It's weird. Yeah. Shit. Bold enough to make a joke about your own self, you know? Yeah. But that's, that's like during the time. But no, it's weird because he wrote a book. Well, someone probably else wrote it for him, you know, yeah. about how he would do the murder. Yeah. That's fucking weird as yeah, shit. If he did it. I don't know, man. You might look at something weird, but to me, it's a genius. Uh, it's genius in terms of uh, financially. Because he, yeah. Because yeah, like, to me, yeah. it's like, you were a killing there. Like, either two things. Either he's really, really fucking a narcissistic psychopath, 
and that's why he did that, or he really didn't do it. There's like the only two scenarios. No, but <laughs> I think if you didn't do it, you still want to be like reminding people that hey. But that's why I mean that's, that it. makes me really, like think like he didn't do it because he's so fucking Damn, brave. That flesh trying to kill dude, you, this dude. This fruit flies pissing me off. Yeah, hello, flies, boy. I don't know where <laughs> they come from. I got a sack of potatoes to get rid of. Bro, someone put a hex on you. Probably. Yeah. Some brujeria. Hey, don't say that. I might have given them a little bit. It's that spooky season. Yeah, it, it is, is spooky that spooky season. season. Shit. Oof, man. Damn. Actually, this spooky season, like, I think I, I talked about the Halloween mix last time, but the 10th one is supposed to be coming out Thursday. And it's, like, pretty much just a DJ mix of, it is RL Grime, by the way. Ah. Um, but, yeah, he's a DJ that just mixes, like, pretty much the top songs of this year um, and m- makes a big, big, big mix of it. But that's going to be smorgasbord. Mortgage board of music. That's fire. That's fire. I don't really listen to that type of music, but shit, I don't get well, down. Well, it's a lot. It's like it's Broke mixed. It so they like you know hip hop m- songs, and then mm-hmm. mix with some EDM kind EDM, of stuff, and yeah. then it, yeah, don't have any ranchos in there though. Quit faking it. No, I've been into some rancho music recently. I'm like what? What's a rancho music? Well, you know, it's you know some what, banda, you know, say, yeah, yeah, some yeah, norteños, yeah, yeah some, some corridos, that banda, cumbia. You listen to cumbia? That's not rancho though. But you can listen to in the rancho though. <laughs> you listen to that's not. <laughs> if you want to dance, right, right, if you want to dance. All right, buddy. All right. Bro, what then? Somebody tried teaching me how to dance cumbia the other day, and I just couldn't do it. You can't do it. This one, two step. It's one, two, one, two. Yeah, I'm fucking terrible at dancing too. Two. Yeah, but I still got it down. Yeah, I went. I went. Uh, I keep saying a date, and uh, she was asking me if I know how to dance. I said no. I don't know who it is. It and was she, not. And she left. She left. She, the like, day. You can't she like left. She's gonna dance. Yeah. Damn. Don't ever tell her to come back. Ever. Tell you, I bet you can't do this, and I bet you can't. <laughs> Whatever it is, yeah. something. Yeah, I bet you can't become six foot. Sheesh. No, nah, actually, there's surgeries for that now. Oh, yeah, there is. They like break your knees and then yeah. chin, chin. Yeah, bro, bro, there's this dude I saw got surgery, right? First of all, it's expensive. Secondly, it's dangerous. Hella dangerous. Right? Yeah. He's like 5'4. He got the surgery. Yeah. Guess what his height's now? I'm five, six. guess 5'7. It was like 5'6. Like, bro, you're still fucking short. Yeah. What? Why are you? Bro, I I don't know, bro. It sucks for men that are like 5'4", but it's like... They have to just be comfortable. There's way shorter women out there. But that was, what, two inches, right? Yeah. Two inches make a difference, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. It makes hey. a difference. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, you just had surgery over and over again. And bro, I might get it a couple of times. How many knees okay. can you break? <laughs> <laughs> I might get it a couple of times. Hey, I, got, I found this dead YouTuber's knees, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I'm saying, I'm saying. I, I might do it a couple of times. And You're I'll already be, six foot. You only got to get taller. And I'll be in the league in a couple of years. But then you could be six <laughs> foot two. I'm going to do it seven times. Game 14. Even if you're seven foot right now, you wouldn't be in the league. I Damn. Know. Damn. I, I think don't know. you might be actually. My, my shoulder's bad. Yeah, you have bad shoulder. Yeah. You'll be you'll be a reserve all the time. I'll be there like water boy at least. Some of you a ball boy. You'll be questionable every time. Bro, I wish I <laughs> I wish I grew up in the big cities, like with the NBA team or NFL team, so I can be one of those ball boys. Yeah, they get That's paid. That's like a lit job. Yeah, they get cool. paid? What the yeah. fuck? I didn't know that. Yeah, they get paid. I didn't know that. I know like, in soccer, uh, they're mostly, they're called mascots pretty much. Yeah. Um, and they're just like the supporters, the pretty much season ticket holders, kids. Who, uh, and they get to go up there, you know, every now and then. And, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's that. And then like, oh, no, this kid's dying from cancer, so let's put him in there. Damn. Yeah. Stuff hopefully like that. They you get know? Better. Nice. Yeah. Soccer's a little more nice. Hopefully they get better. Yeah. But I didn't know they got paid. Yeah. Well, they I guess act- in the NBA and NFL. The NBA, I have actual ball boys and... um. So does tennis. Tennis has like those boys oh, yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. like get the tennis balls and so whatnot. And girls. It's, yeah. You know, not exclusive to one. Right. Yeah. Boys Equal and girls. opportunities. Yeah. yeah, if you're the like their age, Whatever. that's fire. And who knows? Some of those uh, athletes might give them a little nice tip. Hey, no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's not even that. It's just it wouldn't be so cool if you're like, Yeah, I was the ball boy when Michael Jordan was like, you know. Yeah. Somebody who there was a documentary in uh, Netflix that talked about that. Yeah, the, uh, during the dream team. Last dance? Dream. No. I don't think so. That wasn't the last dance. No, because they were talking about. I don't even. I don't even remember honestly. Um, but I just remember them talking about how they were at the, at the Chicago Stadium, you know, every week when it was yeah. like these mega stars, and they had to put shirts, yeah. you know, on every role. Yeah. But I don't think they were ball boys. They were like, like crew workers or whatever, yeah, something like that. That'd yeah, be but so they were cool high though. schoolers though. I don't so. do like the cleaning the sweat with like the big thing. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to do. Yeah. Here's a fly. <laughs> I'm putting a three by the Yeah, Man, but that uh, would be that would be fire. Imagine like me and like your favorite um your favorite athlete like a LeBron. While James. you're getting paid, 
Damn, can't they shoot some shots up with them? Shoot. Just flexing. I don't, I don't think they'll let you yeah, shoot. They probably wouldn't let you shoot. Yeah. No, pregame you. you can shoot because you can rebound for them too. I don't, I don't think so. No, they, they rebound for them during pregame. Oh, they pre-game. do re- rebound, but they won't let them shoot. They're trying to warm up. Yeah. Oh, someone's let them shoot? Get the fuck out of here, kid. That was it. No, bro, but like for real? <laughs> yes, for, for real. for real, LeBron James? Are you for real? <laughs> yeah. LeBron James. Get out of here, buddy. Like, see my hairline? I'll start crying. I'll be like, stressing me out. Stressing me out, kid. <laughs> I'll start crying. I'll be like, LeBron James, what? I'll be like, Space Jam 2 fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Space Jam yeah. 2, haven't seen it yet, but yeah. I heard it was yeah, really we good. talked about it. You, oh, said, you, did, you right? said you saw yeah. it. You know what? Uh, let's talk about that. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but Mondo, you've seen the Dave Chappelle special, right? Oh, yeah. shit. Is it, is it really <laughs> that controversial or no? Is it really like, has he re- did he really say some outlandish shit? Or no, he it? does. Like um, what? But like what? He talks about the, like uh, trans. Oh, so that's, that's my type of topic. That's your, that's your. I gotta get on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, he yeah, talks man. about like a, com- a comedian who was, he, she used to open up for him. Um, yeah, she like passed away, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like, spoiler alert. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, yeah. But she ended up passing away. I forgot if she died or suicide. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what happened. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, he says a lot of racy kind of jokes, a lot of um, transphobic jokes, pretty much calling them all out, too. Um, just the whole cancel culture. So, like, I find it funny, but I could see why people would find it upsetting, I guess. Or offensive. Yeah. But, yeah, but he's, I mean, it's Dave Chappelle. Like, yeah, he, could, he has a right not to. Saying, that. Not saying that, no. <laughs> not saying that anyone has a right or anything. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. he's a comedian. He, yeah. He's making yeah. jokes. They're not serious. And he's like a big comedian, too. Yeah. yeah. You're supposed to, if not comedy, the biggest. you put like a magnifying glass on a certain situation, and then you exaggerate it. Yeah. But you also try to open people's eyes. Yeah, and that's what he's talking about, too. He got the reaction that he wanted. And what they didn't realize is they were like best friends. And he's still mourning her loss. And even the family came out saying that they appreciated the joke. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and if anything, it's bringing attention to her and, you know, and that's it, what it keeps did. the memory living on oh, and stuff. You know, so. Yeah, and that's exactly what it was. It put attention to this group of people who may go through these, you know, trials and tribulations and all this stuff. But people are so quick to ask someone, you know, and tear them down without even seeing, you know, yeah. without even letting it, you know, process through their mind yet. Yeah, sure. They just... Or, or understand know. where he's telling it from, like yeah, his point. Yeah, his perspective. Yeah. Because, you know, that's the main yeah. important part, right? Yeah. And it's just, that, that's the one part that does kind of terrify me in our current, you know, world, is that people don't let, um, you know, intent matter that much. They kind of just put in their own ideas of what's going on without actually letting intent happen. And they're so quick to join one side or the other mm-hmm. to be quickly accepted without thinking for themselves for the most part. Right. But um, they shouldn't realize that with the comedian, intent is always to make somebody laugh. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, they'll say, well, I didn't laugh. Well, that's you know. Fault. Yeah. You know, and it's just, you know, and again, it's not for everyone. You know, he's not going to hurt someone out there doing it like I said that was one of their best friends um and yeah that could be the way he's mourning for it and you can always play this both sides you know what I mean yeah you can put so much research and so much you know words into one side and get the outcome you want so until both groups are going to listen to each other it's you know someone's gonna be outraged for sure you know? My the reason I haven't seen it is because to me I heard it's really controversial, but I haven't really heard it's really funny. Like uh, I, 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 no, it's funny. It's actually, it's just, see, I it hear is, people, it it's, is funny. It's just as long as it's funny because I don't I don't care how controversial it is. I'll watch it even though it's yeah. super offensive. Yeah. I just want to know it's actually funny. Like the shit that he's saying, yeah. even though it may offend a lot of people, it's hilarious. That's what I care yeah. about. His last couple of specials, I haven't seen this one either. It weren't the funniest to me, but his early early specials. Are my some of my favorite ones. I always rewatch them. I always yeah. tell people to watch them. Mm. Um, they're like killing them softly and stuff. Mm. Excuse me. And he's like so much quotable stuff that I tell I want people to watch them so I can quote his stuff and make them. Cause <laughs> it, it's so good. Like make some references. Yeah, his stuff is so good early on. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's just he's kind of becoming to me like uh, George Carlin. I don't know if you guys know George Carlin. Yeah. But he's kind of becoming like that to me. Which, again, George Carlin, 
he gets um you know put into a lot of different groups which he might not even fit in but they kind of mold him into an area that he might not even agree he um wants to join you know he's passed a while a long while back now but he has a lot of eye-opening stuff you know so another good comedian i don't think he's the funniest i think he became more of like a you know more preachy but i enjoy <laughs> his stuff yeah no but yeah that's that comedy show was pretty funny it's just People got upset, so yeah, yeah people are always gonna get upset, yeah. you know. They just have to be willing to talk it out and see what happens. I mean, yeah, when I was seeing when I was seeing it, I was like, damn, like this is gonna <laughs> he's saying, you know, I don't care if you guys cancel me, blah blah blah, or whatever, yeah. But I'm like, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. sure enough, but it, he's just so big, like, he's a superstar, like, considering yeah. the best, like, for him, he could care less, yeah, he's and uncan- he yeah. yeah, yeah, uncancelable, he, he yeah. technically. Canceled himself. Yeah, like, you know he's 20. not even canceled, dude. Like no, they're no, trying no, no. to. I mean, like, like twenty <laughs> years, twenty years ago. Oh uh, yeah, no, Remar, that's hey. what he talked about too. Like oh, did he? Yeah. No, yeah, and like you know, you guys. Well, because he also, you know, he also does the whole race thing too. Yeah, which is what he's always done. Yeah. Like you guys are talking about, like how you guys are getting hung down by the men or whatever, or held down by them. When I literally gave up like sixty million uh, to continue my show, and I went to Africa or something like yeah, that, yeah. You, know? you know, they got really upset. They called him like an addict and stuff like that. Um, yeah. so that and they don't realize too. that he, you know, he was making fun of his own race, mm-hmm. and they didn't say anything controversial then or now. Dude, race yeah. jokes are like the funniest. They're they're funny because there's like a lot of stereotypes, which <laughs> you should not. No, hold up, you should not identify <laughs> someone like that, and this should not be their whole thing. But if you're in that culture, like there's a lot of meme pages, right? And if you find your your like culture's meme page, you can, can relate to that, and it's just funny. It's you know? funny. Like somebody somebody at work, um, he was genuine with his question. He's like, he's like, um, I was uh, I was on the internet, and uh, there's a meme popped up, and it says, "Why does everybody have Uncle Theo?" He's like, "Do you have Uncle Theo?" I'm like, are you? <laughs> I was like, "Theo means uncle." He's like, "You're calling your, you're just everybody has a Theo because Theo means uncle." He's like, "Oh, it's like so." It's like one of those jokes that white people don't get. I'm like, "Yes." He's like, "Oh," I was like, "Oh, that's funny though." I was like, "Yeah, it's funny." <laughs> but, but there's like you know, and it's good. You have to be able to laugh at yourself, or else you know. But again, you shouldn't judge someone for that. You shouldn't be like, you know, oh, mm-hmm. you know, you know, I can't pigeonhole someone. Don't do that. Yeah. But do take things light. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt. Like um yeah. at work I'm like I'm literally the only uh colored person there. I'm Mexican. And so uh the boss's wife would go do food run sometimes. And uh <laughs> say it's like they go to McDonald's, she'll bring back a breakfast burrito and say, Christian, I got your breakfast burrito and it's not racist and it's not ignorant, it's just It's just hilarious. It's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, I kinda want it's this burrito. So funny. It's like damn, I actually do want the burrito. <laughs> yeah. But it's just actually for her but for her perspective, she was trying to make me yeah. feel comfortable. What did she? What did she think though? Like you only like that's your food pyramid. You only have like a burrito. What's like, funny is she <laughs> she did that because she wanted me to feel comfortable. Maybe she wanted to get something she thought I actually like enjoy. And my boss is like, just what well, does Mexican <laughs> doesn't mean he wants a burrito every time. He, maybe he wanted a burger like the rest of us. Yeah, but now you're sad because you don't got the but, burrito. But now I was like, I do want the burrito though. Yeah. But I'm telling you, a McGriddle will change your day. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, McGriddle. <laughs> Damn. Well, what's just, your guys' favorite breakfast sandwich? From, from anywhere, any fast food. It's the turkey. It's the turkey club. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. Nah, dude. Bro. I I think I I like uh, Taco Bell's. What is it? A.M. Crunchwrap. I haven't had it. Sounds good though. No, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, it's I don't know. It, what is it? You you know what a Crunchwrap is? Oh, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I got so I got the regular ones, not the breakfast. So instead of like the tostada thing or whatever, yeah. uh, it's like hash brown. I think like a hash brown. <sighs> And then it's egg with yeah. uh, potatoes, I think. No, that's the hash brown. But yeah, bacon, egg, cheese, the sauce, or whatever it is. Bro, but that's not a breakfast sandwich. It's close enough. To <laughs> no, a but honestly, those, those, <laughs> those type of like uh, breakfast meals where they have like the the wrap with like the they use up potatoes and yeah. eggs and the little bit maybe a little gravy. Not the not that brown gravy, but that breakfast gravy they use. Sure, that shit's fire. That type of food, like oh, that like sausage <sighs> gravy. Yeah, I love that type of shit, bro. Nah, biscuits like and it. gravy? No, nah, that's overrated. Nope. Biscuits and gravy itself is overrated, but that little bit of sauce that they put added to something is really good. It is not overrated. Uh, dude, biscuits and gravy no, is actually kind of yucky. You haven't had good biscuits and gravy Probably not. I gotta no, be honest. We need to find you a white girl who makes you some fire. 
This was Listen, scary. Um, and then invite me over because I want some. Ba- bacon, egg, and cheese are <laughs> mine. What about yours? And he said uh, breakfast, crunch up. Crunch yep, I am Bro, crunch up. Man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm stressing over this, man. <laughs> to be honest, I used to be a big, like, biscuit, bacon, egg, and cheese guy. From where, though? From McDonald's, Hardee's. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. But, you know, I think I found the way to the McGriddle, though. I think I got, you know. Dude, McGriddle's, like, McGriddle's good. It's yeah. just, it's, oh, man. Like, you don't know, like the syrup? It's just too sweet. sweet. Like, like yeah. I don't want to keep eating it. You know? no, I like that. It's like that, that juiced up, you know. Syringe straight to the bun. Is that for five McDonald's people? I'll tell you that much. Logo stamped. Yeah. <laughs> branded onto the bun. Yeah. You know, and it's just like. It's like know, sweet. It takes a little bit of time off your life. Yeah, it does for sure. You know, but it's, it's so like smoking good. a cig. Yeah. But like, probably worse. <laughs> I'm going to hope back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Uh, it's right there It's good yeah, though It's because There's just so much shit Going on with the sweetness The yeah. soft bread you got Saltiness A little bacon with the, uh, As a saltness It's just good no. You can't have too many of those It's dangerous No You should have some though If you haven't had one Get one Yeah, But yeah. it's not for everybody Like mom doesn't like them too much no, I like them It's just I don't, I don't know It's like I wouldn't I, Get it over like other stuff Mm-hmm. Also, but I, like I'll definitely I'll, I'll get those if I'm at McDonald's though. Yeah. Also, like if somebody had it, like here you want one, you would take it. You're not gonna be like yeah. fuck that. Yeah, if yeah. anyone disagrees with this, you're wrong. McDonald's really, hash browns are top tier. I don't Breathe know. the fuck lax. No, they're not. They're not. Are you they're, serious? They're pretty cold in the middle. It's just yeah. the outer. No, 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 no. Just well, you gotta get there at the right time. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's not McDonald's the, it's hash browns bro, are top tier. It's not the 24 hours ones. You it's, have a low, low standard when it comes to hash bro. browns. Okay, how often do you, you are you a hash brown connoisseur? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not so much, but I know that, that McDonald's hash brown real? isn't top tier. Your McDonald's ones fucking suck, then, because mine. We go to we go to the same McDonald's. No, we don't, bro. <laughs> Bro, there's a McDonald's on every block. Oh, who should you go to? Bro, I can tell I you that. To one, That's my uh, secret spot. All right, whatever. They all taste around the same. Nah, they I not. like I like going to actual restaurants and having the hash browns they make for you there. The ones that get fucking frozen off the shit because they're not making them from scratch. You know that process? I worked at McDonald's. You know they're not making it out of scratch. I know, but it's delicious. <laughs> whatever they put, whatever chemicals they put in there, it's delicious. Yeah, I take that fucking drink. Just a little bit of juice. Yeah, there's nothing in there anymore. No, there's is. You were sucking out air. Yeah. Oh, okay, there's a little bit. Chill out, buddy. All right. Chill out with that. Be yeah, aggressive. but no, um, you know, hash browns, McDonald's, better than whoever, uh, any other fast food place. No, not, 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 better, not better than Hardee's. Bro, for real? For Ooh, real. Right. I haven't had the Hardee's little, hash browns. All right, we're going to put it up to whatever? the challenge. We're putting up to the challenge. Put we're going to do it. What challenge? <laughs> hash brown challenge now. Okay. No, I don't care. You know? Do you want to do that instead of the chicken? We then do there's yeah. Taco John's. Taco John's has some pretty good uh, hash those, browns. Those are different, though. Those are more like tots. I, I don't yeah, think, but I don't still. Think, I don't think, tato Lay's are good, though. <laughs> those, are fire. Those, are fire. <laughs> those are fire. Those are probably the best. <laughs> <laughs> they're not hash browns. There's no breakfast at Taco John's. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. They there should have they they be breakfast at Taco John's. Bro, why is Taco John's even still a, a thing? Why, is why it? does Taco Bell have breakfast? Huh? <laughs> Taco Bell has it's breakfast. the same huh? thing. Because <laughs> financial stability. There you go. The market, you know. Why do? Uh, why see? There's breakfast pizza too, which shockingly a lot of people don't know about, like outside the Midwest. Yeah, bro, breakfast oh, pizza. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's like a Midwest thing. I, got, I had some last week. It was fire. Yeah, breakfast pizza is fire. Mm-hmm. Ah, my elbow. It's popping. But no, back oh. to biscuits and gravy. Yeah, hey, biscuits and gravy guy. I'm not, no. dude. If I'm going to get You're breakfast, not either. no, I don't. That's I don't like the like sauce or what is it? I don't like the I don't actually like the sauce. Honestly, the white. See, I like stuff. it if you add it to other shit, but with the just right. the whole bunch of sauce on top of biscuits. So it's oh no. You had a diner, country fried steak with the gravy. I don't on even there. like country fried steak. See that? See <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> To me, I'll eat that though. Dude, I'll I'll get, that. I usually get like omelets or skillets yeah, when too. I get when I yep. go to restaurants and you know stuff. Here like at that. Ross, you never got the mountain with the gravy on there. No. Oh, that was good. I ain't gonna lie, those, <laughs> that was good. The mountain. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> those are good, bro. Again, it probably takes some time off your life. <laughs> you know. Yeah, for sure. But how could it be bad for your heart if you're in love with it? <laughs> you know. You're right. It's you know. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. Um, Honestly, if I'm on my deathbed, I want that fucking IV drip. Yeah, if you're on that gravy. If you're on death row sentence. Oof. Yeah, put that IV drip gravy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boiling yeah. hot. What would be your guys' last meal? Mainline. You guys are on death row. They Damn. say, hey, your meal's coming up. Your date's coming up. What, what do you want your last meal to be? Honestly, it's my mom's cooking for sure. Nothing like outside See, of that. That's some sp- Specifically... 
it would probably be a warache. And warache is like a sope, mm. but it's longer, bigger, bigger mm-hmm. and it has adds meat. You add meat. <laughs> Dang. That's a muscle mom's cooking? Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. Dang, I'd mm-hmm. break down if I had that. That's my last <laughs> meal. Sheesh. My last what meal. What about you? What would you have? Dang. Now I find out if my mom's cooking, she's going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> No, either right. way, I don't think they could do that. Like in, in that stuff, they oh, can't yeah. have other oh, people. Fuck, it has to be yeah. from like the kitchen, and they gotta Thank create you. it. You know. Yeah. Oh, you guys go first. Let me think about Damn, it. Again. My last meal, bro. Shit, I'm, you know what? This something simple. Cause Biscuits you know, and gravy. You know, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> no, bro, these guys, they're busy. They got a lot of people on on death row. Yeah. They gotta, you know. They're on a time crunch. <laughs> bro, you better die. You got a time crunch. <laughs> Talk to me. Bro, let me do, let me do uh, an Uncrustable. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Honestly, like, I was, there's like this TikTok stuff, right? Like, I, I watch it on YouTube, YouTube shorts. And they, they talk about, like, people, serial killers, just, like, last meal. Yeah. Like, some people order, like, some stupid shit, try to get the impossible or whatever. But, like, yeah. nah, dude, here's this is all we got. I saw like I was actually I'm not sure it was the same exact video, but I did see something similar to that where it was like um um see people ask for like fried chicken but with like syrup uh ch- chocolate syrup on it and things mm-hmm. like that. No, yeah, but I think one person ordered well said he just wanted dirt. <laughs> like, <laughs> like so once once they bury me once they bury me that you know I'm just gonna be nourishing the ground. <laughs> Damn, that's hilarious. That's, all right, yeah, you that's know. that's crazy. You must be ready to die. That's your last Bro, meal. You crazy. You've been yeah. ready to die. There was like some guy who had like an olive pit or something, yeah, and saw then that he was too. just gonna swallow it, and then once he decays, the tree would grow. Oh, the tree, yeah. So yeah, wow. So that's kind of badass. That's, yeah, that's forward thinking. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Man, that man was progressive. I want chicken and waffles. Even though he killed 20 people, he was progressive. <laughs> chicken yeah. and waffles, yeah. Uh, not for me. For Okay, so if, if it's like something that's not my mother's cooking. If you don't want it, you're going to yeah. starve, right? No, I'll take something else, man. <laughs> it's not your mother's cooking. What is it? He'll take two Uncrustables. <laughs> <laughs> and a tall glass of milk. <laughs> milk. Honestly, ice cream. I'll take some ice, ice cream. cream. What, yeah, kind of, ice what kind of? What kind of? Yeah, Whitey's. But what kind? Oh, I, I I know it's basic. I just like a regular banana split. Yeah, you should just put a, a shot through your head for that. <laughs> 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 uh, that's funny. Bro, speaking about, like, death row and stuff. Yeah. It's insane, like, the things that, like, I don't know if I agree or disagree with it. Because some people, like, you know, are evil. Maybe they should. But I don't think they should be killing them. But I don't know. Um, Wait, did you say what you wanted your last minute to be? No, but oh, yeah, I, I, I don't really, I wouldn't care. Just I'll, be like, I'll just be like, just give me that off the shelf. <laughs> that, you guys have any ramen? <laughs> that no, big, ramen's not bad, dude, the, you know. The, the big smoke order, the two number nines. <laughs> <laughs> nah, too no. much food. No, I'm, do, I'm about to die, though, so. He'll do the hot chip. <laughs> the hot chip, there you go. Let me get a hot chip. <laughs> so then I can shit myself, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Please just throw, chip throw, up, throw up, shit myself. No. And like, yeah, <laughs> you guys got to deal with the consequences. <laughs> you're, just on, you're just on fire, like... No, but the, <laughs> the, the craziest death row way to get murdered, I think, or it's still murder, I guess, is when they do the firing squad and like only one person has that's the bullet. Old. That's old. Yeah. They wait, still wait, do wait. that. No, in well, in do like they Texas, really? yeah, they like still do that. Damn. What do they do? I don't know what that is. So there's like uh, X amount of people, like five people or something, and only one of them has a bullet and they all like fire. So they don't know who killed them. But, um, you know, because only one has like a bullet. Oh, so to say like there's like five officers and they all shoot the, the guy. Yeah. They should all shoot at, aim at the guy that's supposed to be in death row and yeah. whoever has a bullet kills him. Yeah, but they don't know who has the bullet. That's not... You know what? They could bet on that. That'd be fun to bet on. No, no that yeah, sounds illegal. Like, here's, here's, a, <laughs> here's a quarter. I'd bet number five. Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool to bet on, actually. That would be fire. It's pretty much yeah. like horse racing. That's, yeah. that's Squid Games. Yeah, that's Squid Is Games. Have you I seen Squid seen Games? It. No. I've seen two episodes. I've seen it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't too crazy. Like, it wasn't too, like... You know, it was, was re- it, it was rewarding for the viewer. Mm-hmm. Like, um, but it wasn't anything too special. You know, I watched yeah. it in English. I didn't do no, you know, I don't watch it in. Sub, no dub. No. Wait, dub, no sub. Yeah, I did dub. It had subtitles, but you know, just because oh. everything Still? I watch on Netflix, everything I watch okay. on Netflix do, do subtitles. Um, but yeah, I think it was good. I do want season two. Like, I will watch it. Um, it was kind of graphic, but I think. I'm so desensitized from growing up in a time where every video game was like murdering and every, 
you know, movie was like action packed, blood splatter, you know. Sure. But it definitely is something that, you know, maybe your kids should not be watching. <laughs> Watch them. Give them some biscuits and gravy, some home, you know, some home cooking, some wanachas, some hot <laughs> chips. Don't give them the hot chip. No, don't give them the hot chip. Like, if you get, no. yeah. I mean, unless they're there's bullshit. Like a, there's like an age requirement on that thing, isn't hey, there? I don't know. Hey, should Probably. we make a hot chip for babies? No. We shouldn't. <laughs> that sounds like a money opportunity. <laughs> that sounds like murder. Hot <laughs> chip junior? No. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go on board on that one, bud. You're on your own. Yeah. Damn. Bro, you better drink that juice. That's, that's some good stuff right there. I need some ice. I don't want to get... You don't put ice, ice in that, dude. Because I don't want to get it on my mask. Nah, there you go. <laughs> no, no, no. I got a straw. You want a straw, buddy? After, after this is done, I'll drink it. I hope so. Pro- no, I really will. You I see the mess I'm it. making right here? That's, yeah, I know. That's why I don't want to get it on there. Yeah. Um, I think we got a little bit, you know, 10-ish minutes left. Yeah. Um, but I just want to talk about some movies that I've seen. Go for it, man. Um, do, do your thing. Well, yeah. Like, over this uh, weekend, I guess, I kind of saw a couple. Not this weekend. Pretty much Thursday, Wednesday. Uh, one of them was really weird. It was called Lamb. Ooh. Uh, yeah, no. It's a Icelandic film. So it, it was. it's one mm. of those independent videos, movies, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, was Thor in it? What? Was Thor in it? With Thor? No. Yeah, the bodybuilder some guy, guy. Some guy that, no. Not Crimson Hadsworth, no. No, 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 he's talking no. about the other one, the mountain. Oh, he's Icelandic, dude, yeah. No, I don't, I don't know, think so. I doubt Game it. Of no. Thrones. Really, really weird movie. So it's pretty much like uh, Van Mogler, whatever his name is. No, wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> I want to hear about this movie. It's it's really strange. Like it's literally a goat. Uh, yeah, a goat sheep. A sheep gives a birth to uh, maybe. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what is it? I think I know the premise. Yeah, yeah go so on. it gives birth to a creature because it's technically half animal, half human. What the so, oh, fuck? Yeah. Um, the farmers, which are married, they, I don't know. They Somebody try to raise it. That lamb. Hey. It's, it's really, it's Allegedly. a really, really strange story. Like, I get how they're trying to be all artsy and stuff, and yeah. they're trying to make metaphors for all this stuff. And like, oh, no, this is what it represented and everything. But it was just so bad. It's not, it's not about, like, Satan or anything like that? No. It was supposed, it's a thriller. Um, it's not Satan. That, What's it I on? I don't think so. It was in the theaters, so uh, I don't think it's streamable anywhere. So I'll watch it? No. It's really weird. It's not even worth it, honestly. It's, oh, it's, it's not? not worth watching it, no. Is it in English? No, actually, no. I'm isn't. surprised it came out in theaters, though, since it was an independent Icelandic movie. Was no, it, um, was it, it, it got really good praises, like praises around. You was know? it, um, maybe it was a secret sub? message? What? The sub or double? It's subbed, it? yeah. Sub. But yeah, like, it, I don't know. It's pretty much like a coming of Christ kind of story thing, because they were. Thing was born on the twenty fifth of you know December. Ooh, that sounds spooky. But I didn't <laughs> see this. It's that not, it's, sounds weird. You guys could look up the trailer and it's like. Let's really go watch weird. it. After we'll have the mountain with some. We'll have gravy. the mountain on as a special guest to talk yeah, about yeah, it. He owes me a favor. There you go. Hey, what other movies have you seen? Uh, the other one was actually a good documentary. Uh, the rescue. That one was about. Do you remember the kids? Yeah, it's about uh, the helicopter, right? They say the no. kids in the helicopter on the river. No. <laughs> wait, is this one that's on like HBO Max? No. Oh, okay, never mind. Never uh, wait, mind. actually, it might be. So it just tells what it's about. But it's pretty much, uh, I think, last not last year. It was either last year or two years ago. Um, a group of soccer kids, right? They got stuck in the caves over in uh, Vietnam, I believe. Why are they doing the caves? Well, I mean, it's just the caves. Uh, <laughs> they, they, kids. They're playing, playing. they're playing soccer in the caves? No, they were going to a soccer game, but they just chilled out and went into the caves. But then a monsoon pretty much came, you know, oh, it's started awful. race. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they had to pretty much go more in. Oh, the shit. The thing flooded. So then they, they got carried into like the very, very back of the cave kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that, Damn. Like, just the story of how they had hired like these British divers uh-huh. Um, pretty much like the only people who actually cave dive, which, you know, not a lot of people yeah. do. And they're yeah. the best of the best. So they brought them over. Um, they were the only ones that could really help the military. Pretty much everybody's trying to help in everything. You know, even the United States came in. Um, it's just a really incredible did story. Did you survive? Yeah, they actually, surprisingly, Whoa. everyone did. So all 13. Oh, it's a spoiler. That I mean, it's sounds not a spoiler. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Yeah, no, they survived for over 15 days, I believe, what? in the caves. So. And they're in the water? They no, it it's a monsoon season, so they were they they were above like a little a little patch like off yeah. to the cave, but um, no, everything else was flooded. So none of them ate each other. No, so they sur- first like Not before before they got into it, <laughs> before they got into the cave and anything. Um, I guess they were stuck in there for seven days because nobody knew how to you know navigate to it. They yeah. didn't know the maps and everything until those British people came over. They finally found them on women like. 
what the fuck? You know, you see like 13 eyes glow up and yeah. stuff, and they're like, oh shit. They're like, yeah. hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't. Like, I think they, could, they, could barely, they could barely understand like <laughs> what they were saying, too. Yeah. So, like, like, we'll come back, and then they were saying, like, please don't leave us, whatever. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Dude, like, imagine you think somebody's gonna come rescue you and like you don't know what the f- they're speaking another language and you don't understand and then they leave you're like what the yeah. fuck just happened yeah, yeah. Like, they, they have the subtitles yeah. too like what are they saying does anyone yeah. know like I need a translator like yeah. you know like I think they're gonna come back and like they'll be <laughs> back and, uh, yeah it's like damn it's crazy damn. Um, they survived seven days there they couldn't get them immediately because they didn't have a way to kind of bring them back yeah cause they have to go underwater don't they yeah. yeah um none of yeah so they didn't have like any tools or anything um the thing they were in a cave, so I mean, the oxygen was running low too. Yeah. So usually the percentage is supposed to be like around sixteen or yeah. whatever, but it dropped to like fourteen percent. Mm. Um, so then they were like on a time crunch because it was monsoon season. Um, it was about to pick up real soon as well. So they yeah. were limited on time and they didn't really have much to do. And what they ended up doing was pretty crazy. They had to pretty much sedate them, um, pretty much knock them out, tie their hands so they wouldn't like kick out like if they woke catch up catch on to anything or like yeah. get stuck on anything yeah pretty much um tie them up uh just carry them and give them an oxygen mask pretty much yeah. Yeah. that way they could still breathe and because of how long it was you would have to come up for air like at different kind of points uh-huh. yeah. and then you had to resedate them and you know knock them out again Fuck. and they um, had to do keep like doing back it back and forth yeah for each one so they could only get one you know one kid at a time so yeah. how many kids were there 13. How long did it take him to get them um, from the first kid they got out to the last kid? How long was it? Was uh, it all like a couple was, days? Or yeah, like? it was days. Damn. Um, what? So That's I think crazy. I think they brought them out pretty much like three or four per day. So Damn. yeah, that would be like what, <laughs> four days. Four, I just thought we'd be like, all right, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Well, I mean, because, yeah, because, the, you know, when it rains and everything, let's see water level rises and there's just the currents are too strong at certain points. So they yeah. were they were pretty much experts in, you know, in their own field. So, I mean, sure, they knew what to do. the safest way. See, all yeah. they would have done is what about like 100 divers, give them all straws. No, they, they called other people. So like their That's kind right. of networks of yeah. friends, like, all right, guys, you know, there's this many kids. If you guys could come help, come help. And I think a total of probably six or four people, like uh, including them. Um, we're the only ones that were able to save them, but dude, a, imagine being the last kid. That's what I just said. Yeah. So that's that's a crazy thing, dude. The last kid, the reason he was the last kid was because he was the closest one that lived, I guess, in the city. They wanted the one who lived the furthest to go out, to first. Go out first. That way, they could tell their parents, and you know, it spread yeah. throughout the city faster. Oh, I see. But Did yeah. you just put that shit on Twitter. Bro, come on. <laughs> no, but yeah. yeah that was found some kids, it was, man. It was big news, you know, it was during yeah. the World Cup and everything. So Yeah, because if it goes to the further city, then... Because if it just went to the closed city, it would stay within that small the city right there. But mm-hmm. then it goes to the further city, it, like, trickles down because everybody's... Other kids are still yeah. trying to get fucking... But did they bring them, like, food and stuff once they found them? Yeah, they them? did. So once they found yeah. that's pretty much... They brought them MREs, you know, meal ready oh, type yeah. stuff. They, you know um, what? They brought them, like, protein droplet things. I don't know, like, oh, balls, things, whatever. I and think if they would have brought them some breakfast pizza, oof. they would have been, like... They he, they said that. But imagine like, that they bring b- biscuits and gravy and just throw it away. <laughs> Is that fucking yeah, <laughs> I'd mean, rather yeah. starve. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they, said, they said they smelled, like... Shit. Pretty much people, yeah, pretty much like shit, you yeah. know. Because they had a pee and shit there. Probably. Oh. And and then they're <laughs> slowly dying, too. And oh, yeah, it's yeah, just, okay. you're enclosed in like this hot, I'm assuming it's probably hot. I think it's cold. There. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Because they're, 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 they're great insulators. Yeah. They, they, did, they did bring them like, blankets, actually. Like how do you so. not get hypothermia? I don't know. Hug Ooh, each other. <laughs> that is true. Honestly, that probably yeah. is true. But imagine like. I don't think it's that like, cold. So, this is only funny because they lived. But imagine <laughs> everyone having to take a shit, but you gotta wait for the first kid that takes a shit. So you're not the first one that took a shit. There. I'll be the first one. I wouldn't care. <laughs> I'll, I'll be waiting. I'll be like, oh, this, this is doing a shit. <laughs> you know, it's, it's good over there. Yeah. <laughs> just let it out. You know. Yeah. But yeah, that, that one was a great documentary. And the only other one that I've seen, I guess, was Halloween Kills. You know, Michael Myers. How was that? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Nah, thumbs down. Thumbs down. I feel like they're overdoing it now. Nah. And, and you think they overdid it when they had the, like, Cyborg one from the future who so was like made of ice. With these trilogy ones, it pretty much skips, I think, Halloween 2 all the way up to age 20 or whatever. Yeah. So it's restarts it, sort of. Yeah. But the Halloween, the original one, is still the original one. So, huh. yeah, but pretty much in this film, uh, everyone who died deserved to die. They were so stupid that, you know, come on, like, you're dead for a reason. 
the last Halloween I saw was the one um like two years ago where she like brings him back to the house and like Oh yeah. She has the house all set up, ready to kill him. Which one was it the two thousand nineteen one or Yeah, two thousand nineteen one. The one with Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the fire. Yeah. Yeah. I mean and that's where it pretty much picks up. Like how does he make it out and you see and like oh Okay, I'm, cool. sure, I'm gonna have to watch it. I just like it's, you know. it's on Peacock. I don't know if you guys have that. Nah, no, it's a streaming service. But yeah, that's it's on there. It's also in theaters. But I need more Freddy movies to come out. More what? Do you Freddy, Freddy Cougar? Yeah. Freddy Cougars? Uh, no, I know Scream's coming out. Oh they're, yeah, they're going to do Scream. Actually, wonder, that sounds good too. I, I never really care for the first couple, but who knows? Who knows? You never know. Yeah. He was like one of the, when it comes to Halloween masks, he was like the top tier. Like everybody had a screen mask. I remember everyone had a Jason mask too. But remember the ones that you had the blood and you pumped them? That shit was dope. Oh, yeah. And it had come out the face. Had the glow in the dark <laughs> ones. Those were nice. You fuck, you had glow in the dark ones? No, bro. Oh. I don't have any of that shit. I was oh. so scared. <laughs> 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 but no, I, I did end up having one. Um, I had Actually, a, you did? I, oh. I had a. Jason mask, those are always cool. And you just fell in love with the mask, you were never able to take it yeah, off. Yeah, never take it off. Yeah, that, uh, you know, it's hard to put a mask on another mask. Yeah, it's, it's hard to wear that hey, mask. Hey, I got an idea for the Halloween episode. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Halloween episode? <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah, uh, we'll do the food challenge. Yeah. Food challenge, huh? Food challenge, we, uh, we, get, we get those like apples with razor blades in them. So okay. one of them Ooh, has it. Oh, yes. What? I have a lot of apples in my fridge right now. Yeah, well, who gave you all those apples? I have no idea. Whoever gave door. them all those apples, shout out to you. You know, <laughs> probably my neighbor. You know, maybe a little apple pie action going on. You know, McDonald's does reign supreme in the apple pie division. <laughs> no, they do not. They don't. The little apple don't, pie thing. Why would they reign supreme there? There's so much better apple those pie out there. Those are fire too. I feel like Villagen would have better pie. Yeah, me too. I guess. Bro, 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 assuming. Bro, bro, bro. I guarantee you, McDonald's sells more apple pies. Then. Why? Because they're and smaller and cheaper. And, and? And there's more McDonald's out there and in the world. they're more delicious. Okay. Bro, you just gotta hate. You just hate. You just hate today. No, I love McDonald's, but <laughs> yeah, I gotta call you out. My Bro. See bullshit. Apple pies? Drop down in the comments if you like McDonald's apple pies. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Like and subscribe. Someone send us home. Take go it away, go ahead. Christian. No, you go. No, you go. You go. <laughs> okay, um, what episode was this? 19, episode 19. Uh, this is episode 19 of the Ski Mask Podcast. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, we're out.